and there. Isn't this good? This is pretty good, huh? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what exactly good is. Who's good? Why? When? Let's see if I can just... Yeah, that might work. Well, why don't you make it a little taller? That's a good idea. Let's do that. Just this. Little guy. I gotta go that way. Oops. What's wrong with it? You can't be doing this after you hit record. This is stuff you... See, listen. This is why no one watches your stuff. You gotta be a little bit more professional. If your videos aren't really nice, cute, and clean, I'm not watching them. I'm turning it right off. You better please me. Says every fucking asshole. Alright. There we go. That's all square. <laughs> the house at 11. I haven't even eaten yet. And it is what? I think I had a couple spoonfuls of peanut butter. It's 3 o'clock. I gotta eat soon. Maybe I'll do it after this video. Updates. Oh, some updates. Uh, first things first. Whew, that was gonna fall. Um, I should probably stop doing that. It's a habit. First things first, I actually got... I ran out to a music store, picked up some flat wound ca um, cables, strings, whichever, for a bass. Uh, sounds fucking cool. Oh my god, they're so smooth too. Oh my goodness, no wonder they were so expensive. But it still ripped my finger open. Uh, then I got a new amp. It was, uh, it's an Eden. It looks like it's pretty decent. It's only 300 watt, but it suffices for what I need. Uh, so two of those things on the list are down Leaving me the dark glass vintage ultra bass DI that's exciting. I can't wait to fucking get that thing. Oh, it's like fucking oh, 400 bucks probably so And I already spent about 400 just now. Um, I was so tempted to get a bass too um, There was this really nice one that I was playing it has the two it's not a humbucker, which is like now I'm realizing because I when I was testing the amp out and I you know plugged it in, uh, I, I, it looked like a like a P bass precision bass, but it was some other brand I never heard of, and it had the two pickups, you know. Oh my god, it sounded so fucking good. It was only 260 bucks. I, I could have gotten that. Maybe I'll get it next time I go out there. Get that, get that DI, man, I'll be set. We got that vintage sound. But anyway, I ran home, tested it. It sounds really good. It sounds fucking cool. I love it, man. It sounds so 50s. When you get those high parts, the high string, you know, the um, G and, you know, um, A. Right? E, A, no, D, sorry, D. The D and G, oh my goodness. They sound so fucking cool. The, the E string, I'm not a huge fan of. I'll have to figure something out there. Just don't really like the low end. I kind of want the bass to sound like a different kind of guitar, not a bass guitar. But anyway, uh, that was cool. A little bit of a, a hassle to get her because uh, there was a fan thing. Something was rubbing. Someone must have taken the amp apart before they sold it or during or something. And the fan on the side was rubbing. So the guy had to take it apart, switch up the fan, which was my idea. And um, bam, fucking works fine. I tested it out. She's a good, got the flat wounds. I forgot how bad I am at stringing guitars. Oh my god, I've only ever done it a couple times because, you know, it's a fucking bass strings. I never really need to replace those that often. I mean, the ones on the fucking bass are like years old, like five, six years old that were on the bass that I replaced. You can tell too. These ones though, oh my lord, they just feel so good. Oh yeah. I excite, yes. So that's cool. That's all done. That was the all I did today. 
And then I went over to my parents' house, like I said, because I got my stuff sitting over there because I have a tiny apartment. Very tiny. And um, I don't have any space here. But I got to play around with it over there. And yeah, man. Hmm. Ooh, ah, it sounds good. Oh, shit, man. My fingers got actually torn up from putting the strings on. Like, it ripped all the, um, that skin that you get when you play a lot, and it kind of hardens, but then after a while, it gets to that point where it's brittle and it rubs off. That happened on my pointer finger. But you'll not be able to see that. Nope. Fuck it. Uh, so yeah. You have to do this. No, stop. Um... What else happened? Oh yeah, and so that was that, and so this, I'm gonna do this little video, you know, whatever, pump this bitch out. And then after that, I'm going to release... <gasps> Much anticipated... No, it's not at all. Much anticipated by me. Um... The, uh, the prophecy. The, the reading of the prophecy. It's not gonna be 100% like a good reading, like professional, but fuck it. Um... I'm gonna, le I'm gonna do that one today too. Then after that... I'm gonna try writing. Successful day. Successful. But I need to spend some time in this video. So, that's my day so far. Uh, those are the notes for how I'm gonna do that next video. I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna try to fuck around with sounds and stuff. I think last time I said I was gonna talk about emotion versus logic. That should be an interesting conversation with no one um because i don't really have anything man my brain wasn't really thinking about much at all usually that's kind of how it goes i just I, I live my day i don't get too heady about things as much anymore i just kind of function just do stuff and uh god damn dude it's almost as if like but yeah i i'm just really happy about how the day went Got out and did stuff. It's fucking like 60 out or something. It's fucking, to me, it's a little bit hot, but I kind of wish it was a little cooler. But I gotta open the window here soon. It's like 72 degrees in this house. It's fucking it's hot as hell. So, yeah, man, real excited about that. Get the fucking base DI, and then we should be squizzle squiz. Mm hmm. Today's the ninth. What else? What's a look? Um, yes, friends. This is good. Hey, again, another round. Why don't we clap it up? Well, I think. It's weird. It's kind of looks a little overcast. A little bit, but it's also sunny. I don't know. Not a lot of blue in the sky, I'll say that. Saw a fucking ditch fire on my way here, on my way home. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, because I'm in the country, so. Maybe it wasn't, because man, I was driving by it and I saw smoke in the distance. I was like, oh, okay. Is that supposed to be there? And as I got up on it, in my tuck, uh, I saw that the, the ditch was on fire. It was maybe like fucking 300 feet of fire. And there was like black behind it, so it was like moving. And I was like, I don't know if that's what people do sometimes. Just throw all their shit there and burn them. Because, like, right down the road was a fire department. And then, as I pulled into my parents' place, a uh, fire truck just whoo, went by the sirens on. So maybe it wasn't on purpose. I don't know. Other than that, but on my way back, it was it was handled. So they must have... I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing people do. Like, well, you, you just burn it in the ditch, because fuck it. It's next to a road. So that's kind of interesting when that happened. There was a Christian guy that told me that that was illegal. And I said, what are you talking about? He's like, well, let's talk about that. I was like, well, let's go. And so he told me, he's like, burning's illegal. Because um, something about the way that light refracts from fire actually can cause cancer waves to kind of um, attach onto like so like our brains function a certain way and then like the, it actually jumps in your brain and it can cause disruptions and that's where cancer grows. Cancer is actually a derivative of disruption. So that's why I helped them put the fire out. Okay, yeah, I remember now we're... Okay, so logic 
versus emotion. Because I think they're totally separate, especially with like within your mind, like how you perceive the world. That's kind of mostly what I mean. How do you perceive the world in your natural state? As I, I perceive the world in my natural state more emotionally driven than logic, you know? When I look at an obstacle, I don't think of it logically, I think of it emotionally. <clears throat> does it matter? Is the first thing, like, oh, it doesn't really fucking matter. So don't fuck with it. If it does, how does it make you feel? Why this, this, and that? I have a harder time when it comes to like logic like that. It's definitely tougher for me to like look at something and, and say whether, I don't know. I don't even know how to begin with that. But if I continue with the thought, I would say that for, I get, okay, we'll give examples of how I, how, for me personally, how I determine what emotional driven thoughts are. So I'll do the simplest thing, music. Now how I approach music is not the same way that someone, I don't know, someone else might approach it. For instance, when I was doing, when I went to that guitar shop, or music store, or whatever, and I knew that that amplifier was there because I looked online and I saw that they had it. It was either that or what the fuck's that brand? Because of the H Harkdal, Harkdy, I don't know. And I kind of like just looked at the reviews on them, both positive, but one that Harkdy, Harkdal, I don't know. It has a little bit of like EQ on it it's from the 80s, I think. And they said it's really good for live, and I don't really want to play live. That's not my jam, bruh. My jam is to record that in the studio. And I looked at the Eden series, 300, and I saw a lot of good stuff about that too. That's about as far as I went. So I drove out there, and instantly what, what happened was when I walked in, I don't know much about stuff musically, so I, I just like saw the amp sitting there, I was like, can I fuck around with this? And the guy's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. How do I, where do I, and then, well actually he said yeah, and I walked over and there was like a bunch of amps everywhere. Like from PAs to bass to guitar to like those ones that are like built in amplifiers with the cab, you know. And me being me, I don't know the difference between any of it. I look at brands and amps, I'm like, okay, so can I plug into an amp that already has, you know those cheaper, not cheaper, but it's not a stack. The, uh, the dials for all the sounds are actually built into the amp, the cabinet. I was like, well, I don't think I can plug into that. So, uh, I'm gonna just assume no. And then, so I looked at all these cabs that was hanging out, you know, just big old speakers, and that's it. And I'm like, can I just plug into any of these? How do I know which ones are for bass? Does it matter? I don't fucking know. Because I don't think about this stuff. This is not who I am. I just, just plug me in, let me fucking figure this out. And so I asked this girl that was there, I'm like, uh, trying to make sure I word it like I didn't feel stupid. I'm like, yeah, can I mess around with this? But I just, I don't know which amp I can plug into. You know, almost like, well, which one can I mess with? Is there a certain thing? And she pointed me at, why don't you use the Eden that was right there? I'm like, I didn't even notice. There was an Eden uh, stack underneath this thing. I was like, fucking stupid. Felt like a dumbass. And so, um... She got me, uh, she's like, you need, you need a cable? And I forgot what it was called, I'm like, yes. She's like, you can, get a, you can get a guitar cable over there. I was like, okay. Whatever that cable that plugs in the back of it. Apparently it's called a speaker cable. And so I, um, she plugged it in for me. I was like, thank God. And then uh, I went and grabbed a bass. And I already told you about the problem. It was buzzing, actually, because it was the fan. Someone had put it in upside down. It was weird. The cooling fan on the side. <laughs> There's two of them on this one. And so, <clears throat> god damn, I grabbed a random bass, like I said, and I didn't really know what I was looking for or listening for. All I knew is like, okay, let's fuck around these dials and knobs until we hear a sound that we remotely like, and then we'll get it. And I did, I just do 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 and I was just fucking with the things. Like, okay, what does it do if I turn the treble way up in the in the mids? And then I heard that, then I turned the bass down, and there was a thing called enhance. And I'm like, there's a gain and a master volume. I'm like, what the fuck's the difference? I have no idea. So I fucked around with that shit. I don't want to get too loud. And then I, I was like, you know what? This sounds good through this bass. Worst case scenario, I gotta come back and pick up this bass later. And so I took the thing and I bought it. That's my that's the extent of how I understand 
that kind of stuff, messing around with sounds and all that. I don't know how the waves work. I don't know what decibels a bass is at. I don't understand any of that stuff. That's just too much. I don't, it's just like, fuck it, man. I don't know. I'll fuck around until I find something. I'm not gonna sit and do math and, and like, well, if you know the decibels of like, I don't know, it's just too much. And that's how I approach playing music as well. Where I just sit down, hear something, and just play whatever I can. It's, there's no, well, I know that within this structure I should do this, or if he's playing that note, I can play this note. I don't think about that shit. I just play. And if it sounds remotely good, I'm like, well, that's it. I don't know when notes are changing, except for, well, clearly that sounds weird with mine. It's just like a childlike. I'm very emotionally driven with music. I don't approach it mathematically or calculated. It's just, it's all feel and vibe. Like, and you can tell when something doesn't work, but I couldn't tell you why. Like, why does that bass sound like that? I have no idea. I really don't, but it sounds like that. <clears throat> That's just music, and I also do it with writing too, but that's a whole different beast, like how I approach that. And mostly I live my life by that. I live my life by my emotions, and, and that helps me perceive the world around me. And that's why it gets me lost sometimes, because there's this, almost like there's this thought that you're supposed to have, and I'm just like, well, I'm over here, and I don't even look at that. That's how I feel a lot of the times, where... So, I don't know how to word it. I feel very separate from the world when I be, when I just, when I am, when I'm walking around, when I'm doing stuff. And it feels very isolated in some ways, but also freeing, almost like I'm a separate entity. You know what I mean? But, um, I don't know if I can give any more examples than that, but it's just, if you lay something in front of me, it, I gotta touch it instead of think about it, you know what I mean? And it's gotta invoke something in me that matters. If it doesn't, I'm done with it. If I don't feel something positive from it, then I'm not just gonna mess around with it anymore. Whatever it may be. To which, like, why I have a hard time understanding science and biology and fucking physics and mathematics and, you know, that side. I don't understand any of it. None of it makes sense to me at all. Even basic math is very difficult for me because it's like, I don't really do that. I don't approach my life with that. Like, like here's a stupid example. Um, this is, I'm trying to think of the smallest version of this. You can see how it is in the grand picture. When I used to work at McDonald's when I was younger, we had to lay down the patties, those frozen like weird meat. And um, <clears throat> you had to lay it, what was it? One, two, eight per like, the machine would like clamp up like this, and then here's the um, grill, and it goes, and it cook it like 60 seconds, and it'd be cooked, right? And you had to. So, I didn't. Instead of reaching in the in the fucking freezer and grabbing the patties, okay, one, two, three, four, on this hand, one, two, three, four, on that hand. I went by like without thought, feel like this feels, that feels, and it was always right. Like I tried to approach it without thinking of like, okay, this one, two, three, four in this hand, one, two, three, four in that. It was less of that. It was just about making sure that there's certain feel in your hand. Like, um, or when I worked in a grocery store and I worked in the meat department, when you had to, you know, the ground beef that people buy, there, there has to be around a pound. But I, you know, is if I found if it was from here to here, that's a pretty much a pound. You know, I mean, there's height difference or how to, how to get the big family packs, they would call it. You know, how I would do that. And just, it was all about feeling that. Or when I play sports, it wasn't about like studying things. It was about reacting to what was happening in front of me. Not understanding what this person was always gonna do or what that was gonna happen. Like when I play goalie, just stop it however the fuck you can. There's certain things you should do to make sure you don't, you know, get out of position or Overcommit over here, leaving a gap there, and it's just like it's ice, so you're just like, well, fuck, I can't get back over there in time. Certain things, yeah, but for the most part, it was all vibe, man. It was all like being in that. And that's kind of how I approach my life. It's, it's not about calculations. It's not about running numbers or, or thinking things through. 
in any sort of logical way. It's thinking things through in a way of how it makes me feel, not how my brain perceives the world around me. And so it's like, instead of look, leaving, or sorry, instead of living in this world with my brain, I live in the world with my heart, if that makes sense. Maybe that's the simplest way I can put it. <clears throat> it has gotten me in some like, uh, not trouble, but um, <clears throat> It has been difficult because, you know, like when I, I tried doing school in college and because I did so bad in, in high school, they, in college, they started me out finishing the algebra and I just, I couldn't do it. It just didn't make sense to me. I was sitting there, as I say, they were telling me how to, I just, I'm like, what? I guess the biggest thing, I was like, well, why? Why am I fucking doing this? I'm getting an arts degree. Why the fuck am I doing this stupid math shit? And they would try to tell me how to do it, and it just didn't make sense. Like, I'm not, I don't, why am I doing this? And so the guy was like, you know, during the class he said, we'll do whatever we can to try to help you guys if you need help with math. I was like, sweet, man. So I waited till after class, the professor, and I walked up to him, I said, I, I'm struggling and I, I need help with this because it just doesn't, I don't understand it. And he's like, well, what's going on? And I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I said, um, I don't know how to do um, multiplication very well. I, I can't do that in my head. And I swear, he's like, well, I don't really know how I'm supposed to help you with that. You gotta know those things. I was like, I don't, it doesn't make sense. Like, how the hell? Because it goes back to a thing, personally, where it's memorization, it seems like. How can, it has to be, right? Four times eight, how the fuck? Do you do that? I don't even know. Like, what do I do there? Four times eight. Okay, I got four and I got eight, and I don't know what to do. 43, you know, like, I don't know. And then I remember them telling us in school about memorizing it, and we would fucking sit down and do these stupid flashcards and do it for a long time. I don't know how long it was. It felt like hours, it wasn't, but it just felt like it. Then I would have to go home and do it and just do it. And then the next day I'd forget all of it. You can't be forgetting this, you know? I, I did, and I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. This shit just goes in and out. Like, it doesn't make sense. Numbers, to me, are just ridiculous. They don't make sense at all. And that's been a hard path, you know? Not and like I'm being, you know, crucified or anything, or no one's making me feel bad about it, but it makes me behind because I have a hard time identifying patterns like number patterns. And that's why music will be hard. So when we would write songs and there's like, there's this part, there's that part, there's this part, and there's that. To me, it's like, you already lost me. There's too many moving things and I don't like it. I don't like structure when, when it comes to music. Like, okay, this is kind of like, we're gonna do a pop structure and it does this and then the bridge will do that and the chorus is that, very standard. I, it loses me because it's just there's too much structure there and I just I don't like that and I just can't wrap my head around Going back and doing that again, and then this is very in You go C D E and all that like it's just too much. I can't do it I can play it like how I want to if, if I'm left alone and I don't even like being a part of songs that are written with a generic style or with a um I don't even know how to explain it, man. Like pop style. Or just like the, the chords that work in songs. I don't like that. I really don't. I want to stay as far away from that as I possibly can. I don't know. That's where I'm saying it just gets difficult for me. Or just things that are so easy to some people that I'm around. I want to just say like, listen to me. This is like advanced algebra. To you, it's nothing, but to me, this is really hard. My brain doesn't work that way. Like, okay, so there's... I don't even know if this makes sense in this situation. Like, if we play a cover song, I'm not going to play what that bass player played. Half the time, I don't even know it's a cover song until all of a sudden I find it's a cover song. Oh, I was, I was making something up. No, that didn't make sense. I don't know, man. It's really tough. And that's where the whole emotion versus logic comes in, because for me, that is a law sitting. For me, um, 
I try to... It goes back to the last things I was talking about. Being 100% honest and being real. But at the same time, not compromising who I am. And understanding that I have limitations to how my brain works. And so I'll never be like a, a Mozart. You know. I'm, I, I'm more into... So like there's, um, I guess in music again, there's guys like, they would say Jimmy Page. I don't really know because I don't like listen to Jimmy Page that much. I'm not really into Led Zeppelin. But like Steve Clark of um, Def Leppard, the early days, a really good guitar player. Sloppy player, very sloppy, but soul. That's what I'm into. I fucking love that. I'm not into technician shit where it's precise and... I don't like it, man. I just, I like that heart and soul shit where it's like... Nothing flashy. I love simplicity, sloppy, and just like ugly in a way, but raw and real. That's the kind of stuff I'm really into. So with that being music, that's how I perceive my world too. I don't like this clean cut and scientific fucking way of thinking and, and very focused and this and that. I don't like it. I like the vibe of things that's going on around me. So that's how I perceive art. That's how I'm writing the book. Like, yes, I get in very in depth and all that stuff, and and I ask a lot of questions because you know it's a fantasy. If I'm not asking these questions, someone else will. So I kind of have to do my research on like why this is happening, who's connected to what. But there's times I might take it too far, where that might be a problem. But. <clears throat> I think that's really where I, I have my struggles. It's just in that area. What is that? Okay. Some buzzing. But, um. Might have been someone's AC. But why AC? It's actually pretty hot, I do understand. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's hard to find someone who understands what I'm saying, how difficult things can be when you do things like everyone else does. And like, at the same time, it's like, well, why the fuck would you? Just because a bunch of people are doing so doesn't make it right. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I get it. But it's like, sometimes, like, for instance, being in a band, and this is what always, this is what made it hard to be in a band for me, I just felt so behind. And so, like, I don't get it. And when you say fourth fret, I ha like it just the, the, it, I forgot where that is. I'm like, oh shit, um, and I have to think. Okay, well, um, one, two, three, four. I can't just there it is, because you said a number. You know what I mean? Like as soon as you say it, it's just gone. It's like oh fuck, I'm confused, and it just takes me a minute to like readjust and just. It's very like autistic, I guess, and I have a big struggles with stuff like that. Anything number based, man. Anything number based. It's just a turn off too. It's fucking stupid to feel. I guess it feels like in my mind like this is unnecessary. And I don't want to change that because that makes me special in who I am. Because I am special. <laughs> but like, I don't know man. The biggest part of translate is music because music is very mathematical. So like, um, my niece was playing piano with me. And I was teaching her what I know, and that's just about, you know, like just, you you just play, here's standard stuff, these are chords, but just play till you feel something, just have fun with it. But the way that I was showing her how to play something, she was very, I could see it was very logic based, like okay, it's one and this and that. And I'm like, this girl's got talent with music, but I couldn't teach her. She needs something that is like music theory. That kind of stuff. Like, that stuff to me doesn't make any fucking sense. At all. And I've tried it, and just, I'm like, this is confusing as fuck. Music, to me, is not numbers. Some people it is. And so, like, that's tough. For me. I couldn't show her, like, scales. I don't fucking know scales. I just... I just fucking play. If a note sounds good, I put it in there. I couldn't tell you what the note is, but if it sounds good, I play it. I only know about, on the fretboard, three notes. That's all I know. Without thought, I know C, D, E are the three dots. 
if I think for a couple seconds, I remember G and A. But the, other than that, I don't know any other notes. It's after that, it's just guesswork. So I kind of know enough to like get by. Okay, if that's a D. But what happens if you go up three frets? I have no idea. I don't. It's fuck it. Who doesn't matter? Let's just do something else. You know what I mean? That's how I approach it. There is no understanding of how a fretboard works for me for the most part like um like the d and g string i don't know any of those notes at all i just i don't understand that shit it's probably why i never use those strings when i play because i just like i don't know where notes are on that area because it's like i can't keep the memorization in my head i can only remember d c and e because i just fucking force myself to remember it but i still have a hard time with g Remembering on the E string that G's the first dot That that's why my music is different cause it's just If I look at a piano, I couldn't tell you what any of those notes are, but I could play a song on it I could I could even uh, pluck out a tune that I heard I couldn't tell you what the notes were though Because it doesn't mean it. I don't it doesn't matter as long as you get you can find it and feel it Then you don't need to worry about what the how you did it yeah, it's just in the moment, I guess. This whole emotion versus logic with music. Maybe that's what I'm talking about. Maybe that's the what's it called? The the um the topic of this video is in music. It's I don't know. Maybe that's uh, a problem. I don't know. Or it's a um what's it called? Not a disability, but a. You know when people struggle with something, you know, I'm not, um, fuck, I forgot what that's called. A handicap, maybe? Maybe it's like a handicap in my mind. Um, or like I said, or it's a problem, like you should overcome that. I have no idea. There goes some sirens. I don't know. I couldn't say what it is. It just, I feel right the way I do things and I know well that's all that matters yeah I know but I do want to talk about what it's like you know how I perceive the world and what I try to do about it mm -hmm. but anyway so the next thing I'm gonna try to get for the base is that fucking DI it's called dark glass vintage ultra Oh my god, does it sound fucking good. It's expensive though. It's more than my bass cost. You should have a thousand dollar bass if you're gonna wanna have to. I know! I know! Just haven't committed to it, man. I'm just trying. Trying to do things. Didn't think I liked music, so I didn't buy any music gear. At all. So, I'm a little bit behind. I don't even know... There's so much I don't know when it comes to waves and sounds. It's confusing as fuck to me. I, yeah, I don't, but that's, that stuff is so confusing. When I look at like a <clears throat> recording equipment, not equipment, so if I were recording a song, um, sir, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, hello. When we're recording songs and, and like I look at the equipment that we have. Got him. Got him. Got him. Gaka. 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 So yeah, when we have like, um, you can get in the shot. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to be looked at. Um, yeah, anyway, when we're recording music and I just look at like, okay, here's the wave and you scoop here because you can't hear that in the bass, I remember that, and you do this and then, there's certain levels. It just, it's like beyond me. It's like, fuck, I don't even, I, I try paying attention, but then I was watching it like, like that. I want it to stay leaned like that. It's very kinky. Er, I mean, cool. Gaka, the sidekick. Gaka. Gaka. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try something kind of cool on this next video I'm gonna do, the prophecy one. I read it out, because I have like an old school um, tape 
cassette, the cassette recorder, and um, it's actually from General Electric. It's one of those little box ones that you hit record and all that, and it's kind of nice. So I recorded actually the um, the, uh, the prophecy in that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mic it. I don't have good mics here, so it's not going to be crazy. I'm going to mic it up. And I'm going to record it again into the audio of the computer, put a little video of it, and then, so you can get that tape hiss. I'm going to kind of dampen it a little bit, because <clears throat> it's, it's not really high quality, something like this, because, you know, the hiss is there because there is no microphone for it, so it's picking up a lot of the air around, so it's very hissy. Um, I kind of have to dampen that a bit. But it's going to sound cool, and I'll pump that video out, and it'll be just the reading of the prophecy. I miss messing around with tapes. When I was young, I used to, we used to like do homemade um, radio shows, me and my sister and our friends, and where we'd, um, do you want to go out there? Yeah, we used to do like homemade videos and stuff like that with the tape recorder and make skits and, and like, um, do like, well, it's basically skits. And like looking back, they were pretty messed up because we were pretty young. One skit was about Michael Jackson, and the trial that he had, and all that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used to mess around with tapes a lot. I do miss that like when you're recording, you're trying to like just trying to edit with only a tape recorder. So you have to rewind back, play it. Okay, that's where I want to be. Pause, then record over that section. And you'll still get that kind of that sound, and I fucking, man, I do miss that, man. So I got a whole stack of tapes. I'm gonna be doing a lot of messing around with that shit with sounds and stuff, and take the little knowledge I have with music and do it. Stop it! You're gonna hurt yourself. Jesus, dude. The little um, that I know about music, like recording and stuff like that, I wanna do that with audio, like the book and stuff. So I'm kind of messing around with this and seeing how cool I can get it and all that stuff. See what I can mess around with. That'll be kind of fun. So that's what I'm doing after this video. Go, go, I swear to God. Fine, you know, just here. Sit there. Just relax. Um, yeah, man, I can't, that's going to be exciting. I'll pump it out today, too. That's going to be out today. <laughs> I just got back and so I'm just doing a quick video of catching up, you know, talking about stuff. And, uh, I mean, I didn't really go in detail the whole thing about the um, logic versus emotion, but I hope I kind of explained enough of like how I perceive it and how it's affected my world. Because again, it's like, I really want to steer away from, um, Anything that doesn't pertain to me. I only want, it's only me and my life. I can't, I can't make statements about other people's lives. I might guess and say I think it's easier for them. I don't know. I, I, yeah, again, like I said, I don't want to ever pump out information where, like, how I view the world. I will do that on accident, and I'll try to stop myself when it comes to certain things, but I don't really... Like, talk about theories and stuff, like, what is the fucking black hole? Or, like, what do you think about this um, movement that these people are doing? Like, no. No, I don't do that shit. Or we'll talk about, like, what religion and, and how it is bad, or how everything. Just, that's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to just enjoy my life, do what I can do, make what I can make, and, and push it out there, and hope someone might like it. Because then maybe then then they'll do something really cool. That's all I can really do. But the more I do this kind of stuff, the more I realize I'm not into visuals. Like to me, I don't want to fuck around with like cute little intros. Like I try it, just like something unique. But I'm not a big fan of that shit. Or like how I can do all video things and you cut here, and then like you fucking do this and and I don't know, like panning into that and. And, and stuff. I don't fuck with that because it's just not my brain. I don't do the visuals. I can only do 
the audio stuff that and it's not even that much but that's matters more to me I per, I'd really much rather this be a black screen where nothing's going on and you can't see anything and you just have to listen because I think this is distracting I think her eyes are just too distracted all the time so it's my job to make this channel as simple as fucking possible. It's one fucking dude sitting in front of a camera. There is nothing else. I'm not gonna like do a bunch of crazy shit. I might do an intro here and there because I'm learning. I am. This is new to me. But other than that, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm not gonna do mini movies. You know where there's scenes and like location shots and shit. Like no. That's too much work. <laughs> if for some reason someone wants that, they can help me out. But if if it's just me, then we're doing it this way. You know, it's too stressful to do shit that's just not who you are, just to please people. Like fuck that. You can get more view. Like if you did it more professionally, like well then fuck them. If that's how shallow people are, then fuck them, man. Uh, what else? Is that it? Seems like that's it, yeah. It's a good way to end it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do next time. I'm gonna try to do a video tomorrow, but we'll see. I might not be able to. Unless I do it with someone else. Because tomorrow is what? Wednesday? It's my sister's birthday too, so. I'm trying to go over there in the afternoon. Um, I'm gonna tell my girlfriend about that. I forgot. Fuck. Cause we gotta do, she wants to go places. <sighs> Shouldn't have said anything. I was gonna talk about, well I, cause I was like, maybe you can come with me and I'm gonna go to the guitar shop or music store and I wanna look at a few things and then maybe we, you can go and it's next to Target and you can go look at that and all that and I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> now she built the whole day around it and I told her, I'm gonna do this today. She's like, well what about tomorrow? I'm like, fucking, I just wanted to do this today. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything tomorrow. I don't, this, I don't know. <laughs> Unless me and my friend make one on probably his channel? But we can have it on here too, maybe. It doesn't matter, because there's not enough people watching this. It's like, every, the only people watching this channel are the people that I already know. <laughs> Four people. Essentially. Um, yeah, man. Should be exciting, uh, the music. Once we start doing that again, I'm a little excited, a little excited about it. Hopefully it's so good. So today I am, after this, I, like I said, I'm doing that one video of the prophecy and I'll release that. And then I'm doing writing. As much as I really don't want to do it, I need to do writing. So that's it for me. I don't know what we'll talk about next time, but it'll be something I assume, you know, something rambly. Oh, fuck, bro. <sighs> anyway, until next time. <laughs>